Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here, and today we say goodbye to 2018, and hello to 2019. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to show it some love and give it a like rating. So I want to do something a little bit different today. I have done this in the past, but I haven't done it in a while where we just kind of look at the movies coming out in the theaters in the coming year. Now, I don't get to the theaters a lot. I wish I could get more and I wish I could say I'm going to see a lot of these movies in theaters but it's probably just not going to happen. So I just kind of want to tell you guys about what movies are coming. Now remember, all these dates are obviously subject to change, and uh, I'm just reading these off of IMDb. And for whatever movies I am interested in or whatever, I would just like to share kind of my thoughts with you guys as best I can. So the first week is January 4th, and we have Escape Room. Uh, this movie looks really cool. It's listed as a mystery sci-fi thriller. I would say it's kind of a horror movie, too. Uh, these people are invited to this escape room, and they get there. And if they can survive, they're going to get a million dollars. But they soon realize that uh, they could die. <laughs> uh, I think this looks really cool. Uh, it, this building is, like, super high-tech, and there's these really cool kind of traps or puzzles or whatever you want to call them. Uh, but the PG-13 rating does concern me for sure. That'll take us to January 11th. Uh, the Upside, I don't really know anything about this. It does have Nicole Kidman and Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston. A comedic look at a relationship between a wealthy man with quadriplegia and an unemployed man with a criminal record who's hired to help him. A Dog's Way Home. I did see the trailer for that one. Bryce Dallas Howard, Ashley Judd. Replicas, Keanu Reeves. A scientist becomes obsessed with bringing back his family member who died in a traffic accident. Uh, and then January 18th, we have Glass. Security guard David Dunn uses his supernatural abilities to track Kevin Wendell Crumb, a disturbed man who has 24 personalities. This is from the legendary M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> And uh, stars Sarah Paulson, Bruce Willis, Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, what's that? I can't think of that guy's name off the top of my head. Uh, but this is the sequel to Split, which was a sequel to Unbreakable. I never saw, or, you know, I think I saw Unbreakable when it came out. But I don't own it, and uh, I really need to try to watch that one. Um, and then check out Glass. Uh, I did enjoy Split. I didn't realize that it was a sequel to Unbreakable. <laughs> like, people were like, oh yeah, because I just didn't get the ending, but it... Basically, at the end, tells you it's the sequel to Unbreakable. And um, it was a pretty decent movie, actually. Arctic Justice. Uh, and that takes us to January 25th, Serenity. The mysterious past of a fishing boat captain comes back to haunt him when his ex-wife tracks him down with a desperate plea for help, ensnaring his life in a new reality but that may not be all that it seems. Matthew McConaughey and Anne Hathaway and Jason Clark. And Diane Lane. Uh, the Kid Who Would Be King. This is kind of like a modern day uh, was Sword in the Stone, <laughs> I think is what they're going for with that one. Uh, I think that's going to kind of be more like a kid's movie. The Invisibles. The Final Wish. Uh, you would think this was kind of like part of the Insidious franchise, but I think it's its own movie. After the death of his father, Aaron returns home to help his grief-stricken mother and to confront his past, going through his dad's belongings, he comes across a mysterious item that is more than it seems, uh, has Lynn Shay. So it kind of sounds like this kind of horror ghost type thing with Lynn Shay. I mean, you just would automatically assume Insidious, but I think she's kind of becoming typecast. Jacob's Ladder. Uh, I was wondering if this is a remake. It says a remake to the 1990 thriller starring Tim Robbins. I've never seen... Uh, the original one. After returning home from the Vietnam War, veteran Jacob Singer struggles to maintain his sanity. Plagued by the hallucinations and flashbacks, Singer rapidly falls apart as the world and people around him morph and twist into disturbing images.
Arctic. A man stranded in the Arctic after an airplane crash must decide whether to remain in the relative safety of his makeshift camp or to embark on a deadly trek through the unknown in hopes of making it out alive. <laughs> Sounds kind of cool. That one might be worth checking out. It's listed as a drama, though. Uh, February 8th, we have Lego Movie 2, the second part. Kind of a, I don't know, they're trying to go for a little bit funny name there. It just seems kind of played, I guess, would be the best way to describe it. It's been five years since everything was awesome, and the citizens are facing a huge new threat. Lego Duplo invaders from outer space wrecking everything faster than they can build. Margot Robbie, Jonah Hill, Allison Brie, Chris Pratt. Uh, definitely be one to check out. I doubt I'll go see that one in theaters, though. Uh, what Men Want. Ah, it's got to be a movie for me. A woman is boxed out by the male sports agents in her profession, but gains an unexpected edge over them when she develops the ability to hear their thoughts. Oh, wait, that doesn't sound like for me. <laughs> Taja P. Henson. Uh, this cold pursuit sounds like it could be cool. A snowplow driver seeks revenge against the drug dealers he thinks killed his son. Based on the 2014 Norwegian film, In Order of Disappearance, Liam Neeson, Emmy Rossum, The Prodigy. This one looks kind of cool, too. A mother concerned about her young son's disturbing behavior thinks something supernatural may be affecting him. Uh, Taylor Schilling from Orange is the New Black is in this one. And then February 15th, Happy Death Day to You, sequel to the 2017 film Happy Death Day. I was actually really surprised... Uh, how much I enjoyed the first one, and I'm definitely looking forward to this one. I'll probably check this one out in theaters. For sure, I'm going to try. Uh, Alita, this movie looks really strange. It's kind of like this animated cyborg people. <laughs> I don't know. It's really weird looking, but also kind of cool looking too, I guess. An action-packed story of a young woman's journey to discover the truth of who she is in her fight to change the world. Uh, Fighting with my family. This one uh, has the rock, but uh, he said it's just a real small part in this one. Isn't it romantic? Uh, Rebel Wilson enough said. And that brings us to February 22nd. How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Uh, we'll also be getting uh, How to Train Your Dragon 1 and 2 on 4K in January. And I don't know why this one is listed again in March not really sure what the actual release date is. A Medea Family Funeral. I've never seen a Medea movie. Chaos Walking, a, a dystopian world where there is no women and all living creatures can hear each other's thoughts in a stream of images, words, and sounds called noise. <laughs> Tom Holland, Daisy Ridley. I imagine... Wait, there's a woman in it. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> And then March 8th, we have Captain Marvel. Now, I'm not, I didn't see the trailer for Captain Marvel yet. Does it take place before Infinity War? I don't like this thing like releasing Ant Man after Infinity War, but it's before Infinity War. And it says here uh, Carol Danvers becomes one of the universe's most powerful heroes when Earth is caught in the middle of a galactic war between two alien races. I mean, it doesn't really seem to have anything to do with Infinity War. Brie Larson and Samuel L. Jackson. The, se the sex trip. Okay. Uh, Us. I know there's a lot of hype about this one. It's from Jordan Peele. I haven't even seen Get Out yet, though. I'm so far behind. A mother and father take their kids to their beach house, expecting to enjoy time with friends, but their serenity turns to tension and chaos when some visitors arrive uninvited. I haven't seen the trailer for that. It is out. Uh, Wonder Park tells a story of a magnificent amusement park where the imagination of a wildly creative girl named June comes alive. Jennifer Gardner. The aftermath, post-World War II, a British colonel and his wife are assigned to live in Hamburg during the post-war reconstruction. But tensions arise when the Germans, German who previously owned the house... Kira Knightley, Alexander Skarsgård, Jason Clark. The Hummingbird Project. Does anyone really have any interest in seeing Jesse Eisenberg anymore? <laughs> just, just being honest. Uh, 
Greyhound, a Navy officer, commands the Greyhound during World War II. Tom Hanks. Probably pretty good. Everything he's in is always good, so... Uh, this, <laughs> I definitely love this. The Beach Bum. And Matthew McConaughey, I mean, he personifies Beach Bum, so... I think they got it right there. A rebellious stoner named Moondog lives life by his own rules. The Ramen Shop. Is that like a... Is that a Asian version of the <laughs> barber shop? <laughs> I'm not trying to be racist at all. I'm just saying. Uh, I mean, that's what it looks like. Dumbo. Uh, th- this one is... I, I know I saw the trailer. It's been a while. This is a... I think this is one of those live action animation mixture type movies. Disney's loving so much now. Uh, my wife's probably going to want to check that one out. She loves Dumbo. I just realized I've been not mentioning the dates. <laughs> uh, April 5th, we have Shazam. Actually, this movie looks really cool. I don't know anything about Shazam, but the trailer looks really cool. We all have a superhero inside us. It just takes a bit of magic to bring it out. In Billy Batson's case, by shouting out the word Shazam, the streetwise 14-year-old foster kid can turn into the adult superhero Shazam. Finally, a DC movie I'm excited for. <laughs> A lot of people are kind of not feeling this one. And I feel like, you know, you look at some of those uh, kind of 80s, maybe 70s horror movies uh, that have become kind of iconic. And a lot of it was just kind of the filming style that really added to the creepiness. And and today's horror movies are kind of just really whitewashed compared to that. You know, they're always super clean and uh, <laughs> they just they don't have that same feeling. The characters don't have that same feeling. And I feel like that's going to be a problem with this one. It's not going to have that same kind of quality or lack of quality, you know what I mean, to the to the actual production. And it's going to make it a lot less creepy, although I will check it out. Uh, stars John Lithgow, Jason Clark, Lewis Creed, his wife Rachel, and their two children, Gage and Ellie, move to a rural home where they are welcomed and enlightened about the eerie pet cemetery located near their home. After the tragedy of their cat being killed by a truck, Lewis resorts to burying it in the mysterious pet cemetery, which is definitely not as it seems, and it proves to the creeds that sometimes dead is better. The best of enemies. Taja P. Henson seems to be in a lot of movies lately. (laughs) Civil rights activist Anne Atwater faces off against C.P. Ellis, exalted Cyclops of the Ku Klux Klan. This is Cyclops? In 1971, Durham, North Carolina, over the issue of school integration. April 12th, we have the Hellboy reboot, based on the graphic novels by Mike Mignola. Hellboy, caught between the worlds of supernatural and human, battles the ancient sorceress bent on revenge i'm not super familiar with the hellboy movies i only saw the first one when it came out and i never saw the second one breakthrough this one has topher grace you don't see him much anymore when he was 14 smith drowned in lake st louis 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 lake st louis And was dead for nearly an hour. According to reports at the time, CPR was performed 27 minutes to no avail. Then the youth's mother, Joy Smith, entered the room, praying loudly. Suddenly, there was a pulse, and Smith came around. After my son. Uh, April 19th, The Curse of La Llorona. Penguins? Under the Silver Lake, Andrew Garfield, hey, Topher Grace again. Sam, intelligent but without purpose, finds a mysterious woman swimming in his apartment's pool one night. The next morning, she disappears. Sam sets off across L.A. to find her. Along the way, he uncovers a conspiracy far more bizarre. (laughs) High Life with Robert Pattinson. A father and his daughter struggle to survive in deep space where they live in isolation. That is not what I imagined. <laughs> Avengers Endgame on April 26th. Will this be the biggest movie of the year? What do you guys think? 
In the aftermath of Thanos wiping out half of all life in the universe, the remaining Avengers must do what's necessary to undo the Mad Titan's deed. The Intruder, Dennis Quaid. Psychological thriller about a young married couple who buys a beautiful Napa Valley house on several acres of land only to find that the man they bought it from refuses to let go of the property. Could be interesting. May 10th, Pokemon Detective Pikachu with <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, huh? Sounds interesting. The Hustle, a remake of the 1988 comedy Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, in which two down-and-out con artists engage in Loser Leaves Town contest. Could be interesting, except for that it has Rebel Wilson. Ugly Dolls. Nick Jonas. John Wick Chapter 3, the, th the, the third installment of the John Wick series with Keanu Reeves. I love the first one. I have yet to see the second one. Definitely need to watch that one and check out the third when it comes out. And then May the 24th, we have uh, the live action Aladdin. You know, I would be really excited about this, but I just feel like Will Smith looks so ridiculous as the genie. Uh, I guess it's hard to really envision anybody but Robin Williams being the genie, but uh, I don't know. I'll probably have to check it out eventually. Ad Astra, Brad Pitt, Tommy Lee Jones, and Donald Sutherland. Good cast. Astronaut Roy McBride travels to the outer edge of the solar system to find his missing father and unravel a mystery that threatens the survival of our planet. Brightburn. What if a child from another world crash landed on Earth, but instead of becoming... A hero to mankind, he proved to be something far more sinister. Huh, sounds like a kind of a strange movie for Elizabeth Banks to be in, but could be interesting. Definitely excited on May 31st to see Godzilla King of Monsters. I will definitely see this one in theaters. I know a lot of people hated on the previous Godzilla movie because it had a crucial flaw that it had hardly any Godzilla. <laughs> uh, I kind of liked the movie. I thought it was cool. You know, if you if you think about it, yeah, Godzilla was kind of not the focus of the movie but um i think they're gonna fix a lot of that in this one at least the the trailer seems that way they're gonna have a bunch of monsters could be cool the crypto zoological agency monarch faces off against a battery of god-sized monsters including the mighty godzilla who collides with mothra rodan and his ultimate nemesis the three-headed king Ghidorah. i'm not sure if that's how you say that uh, Vera Farmiga is going to be in that. Pretty cool. Rocket Man. This is the story of Elton John's life from his years as a prodigy at the Royal Academy of Music through his influential and enduring musical partnership with Bernie Taupin. Uh, I'm not necessarily a huge uh, Elton John fan, but this movie does look cool. I definitely have to check that one out. June 7th, we have Dark Phoenix. I'm not sure how I really feel about this movie. Uh, since they lost the Wolverine and now they're going to go to other characters and I don't know the Phoenix wasn't like they kind of killed her off pretty fast uh, now they want to bring her back I don't know I'm not expecting a lot out of this one Secret Life of Pets 2 I never saw the first one the untitled Fox Marvel film huh how could they release two in the same month Men in Black International Men in Black, Tessa Thompson, Chris Hemsworth, Liam Neeson. Not looking forward to it. <laughs> Shaft. I can't believe Samuel L. Jackson's going to make another Shaft movie. I never saw the original, but he's just getting pretty up there in age. June 21st, Toy Story 4. Definitely looking forward to that. When a new toy called Forky joins Woody and the gang, a road trip alongside old and new friends reveals how big the world can be for a toy. Uh, definitely looking forward to this one. I love the Toy Story franchise. I hope this one's not as sad as 3, though. 3 was pretty sad. Um, I'm also curious if they're going to release uh, the first 3 in 4K to kind of coincide with this. That would be probably a, a smart move. Looking forward to Child's Play. A mother gives her son a toy doll for his birthday, unaware of its more sinister nature. Aubrey Plaza. But I kind of wonder, are they going to make a sequel to The Cult of Chucky? Didn't really have an ending. So I'm not really sure uh, what their plans are there. Grudge. They're <laughs> doing a Grudge, I think, reboot or something. I don't know. These movies were so weird. I don't think they're they're <laughs> they're great for 
the American audience. Uh, John Cho is in this. I, I did get those uh, original grudge movies, but I, I don't know if will watch them with me. <laughs> uh, the 28th, Ford versus Ferrari. This is probably the, the story of the GT40. Could be cool. Could be cool. I definitely enjoy that. July 5th, we have Spider-Man Far From Home. Well, I wonder if Spider-Man's going to come back to life in uh, <laughs> Avengers. Huh. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, it's so annoying that they, you know, I complained about it a lot, that killing off so many people in Avengers just made it so obvious they'd come back to life. Peter Parker and his friends go on a summer vacation to Europe and... There, Peter finds himself trying to save his friends against a villain known as Mysterio. Oh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Is he going to be the bad guy? Samuel L. Jackson and Tom Holland. Hmm, then Zendaya. Definitely have to check that one out. I really liked uh, the <laughs> I really liked the previous Spider-Man movies. Of course, I've, I've liked every Spider-Man movie. And then July 19th. Man, there's a lot of Disney movies coming out. We have The Lion King. This is a CGI reimagination of the 1994 classic. So uh, it's it's uh, it's more of a, a realistic CGI than an animated. Could be cool, but at the same time, I'm like, well, I don't know. Is it really that needed? Don Glover, Seth Rogen, Chouette, Chouettel El Jafor. <laughs> I'd definitely watch it, though. <laughs> complain about it and then watch it anyways uh august 2nd we have hobbs and shaw this is the uh fast and the furious spinoff so we can get like a fast and the furious without vin diesel definitely looking forward to this dwayne johnson the new mutants i don't know about this one five young mutants just discover their abilities while held in a secret facility against their will fight to escape their past sins and save themselves august 9th artemis fowl and scary stories to tell in the dark this is based on that book and uh, a lot of you younger people probably aren't familiar with it i don't know i i don't remember ever reading it but i remember like my friend had it or something uh, and they're kind of making a movie based on that i guess angry birds 2 august 16th good boys it's the opposite of bad boys <laughs> uh boss level it does have mel gibson could be interesting retired special forces officer is trapped in a never-ending time loop on the day of his death. Oh my gosh. How many times have we seen that now? Play Mobile the movie. Okay. <laughs> uh, August 23rd, we have Angel Has Fallen with Gerard Butler, Morgan Freeman, Piper Parabo. My boyfriend's meds. September 6th, we have It, Chapter 2. Definitely looking forward to this one. Uh, definitely love the original miniseries and the movie was pretty good definitely looking forward to the second one spies in disguise i don't know about this but it does have karen gillen will smith and tom holland and rashida jones could be good the kitchen has melissa mccarthy enough said <laughs> september 27th abominable a magical a magical yeti must return to his family October 4th, we have Joker. I don't know about this one. <laughs> a failed stand-up comedian is driven insane and becomes a psychopathic murderer. Ho Kwan Phoenix. Robert De Niro. Gemini Man with Will Smith. An over-the-hill hitman faces off against a younger clone of himself. Pass. <laughs> Zombieland 2. Definitely looking forward to that. Love Zombieland. Columbus, Tallahassee, Wichita, and Little Rock. Move to the American heartland as they face off against evolved zombies, fellow survivors, and the growing pains of the snarky makeshift family. Woody Harrelson's kind of getting up there in age, though. The Goldfinch, the Addams Family, an animated movie. Definitely excited for this one. I'll definitely see this in theaters. Are you afraid of the dark? I love the show. Plot unknown. Okay, but definitely going to have to see that one. Uh, October 18th, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. This is a uh, Tom Hanks documentary on mr rogers could be cool november 1st the untitled terminator reboot with arnold schwarzenegger uh i don't know <laughs> how they're doing another charlie's angels wow 
Arctic Justice with James Franco. I'm not going to read all that. So, uh, November 8th, we have Sonic the Hedgehog, Jim Carrey. I don't know. A lot of people are kind of hating on this one. It could be interesting. Kingsman 3. Definitely love the second Kingsman, so looking forward to the third. Midway, the story of the Battle of Midway, told by the leaders and the soldiers who fought it. Patrick Wilson, Woody Harrelson. Last cr- uh, November 15th, Last Christmas, Amelia Clark, Emma Thompson. Holiday romance set in London. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Margie Claus? When Santa goes missing during the holidays, it's up to his wife, Margie, to save Christmas. Oh, Melissa McCarthy. Oh, and it's listed as a musical. Frozen 2. <laughs> Never seen Frozen. And then the week you've all been waiting for. December 13th. Untitled Jumanji. Welcome to the Jungle sequel. Definitely looking forward to this. The question is how many times will I see it in theaters? I think I saw Welcome to the Jungle like five. Was it five times? I don't know. But definitely uh, I'm going to watch this one in theaters. Star Wars Episode 9, the conclusion of the Star Wars sequel trilogy. Uh, Daisy Ridley, Damal Gleeson, Oscar Isaac, Adam Driver. Definitely looking forward to this one. I've liked the new Star Wars movies um, as far as the actual trilogy. I know they were talking about slowing down the Star Wars movies as they've kind of oversaturated the market. I wonder if it will be after this one. I haven't really heard what the plans are. (laughs) Masters of the Universe... Uh, December 27th, super intelligent, oh, Melissa McCarthy. That is it. So I think there's going to be a lot of just really good titles, a lot of good superhero, a lot from Disney, holy moly, Disney movie every week almost. <laughs> uh, but I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking about these upcoming movies or what you guys are hoping to see. Uh, Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. I know it was probably kind of long. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Check out suggested videos. Check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com. And I'll see you guys next time.